Right, guys, as you can tell, the trailer is sitting almost perfectly level. Um, this new hitch I got from Harbor Freight, it's a four inch drop instead of I had a regular two inch drop. And um, with the 20% off coupon, I paid 15 bucks for it, so it's great. And uh, it's 7.39, and let's get the Milwaukee out, and I'll start getting it cleaned up, boys. If y'all guys do this, but I keep doing it over and over, even on the open trailer and on the enclosed trailer. Like I'll, I'll get done mowing with the big mower, like this yard. I mow down the back. It's that yard with the steep hill that I um, push mow, and I always put the big mower in. And then I realized, crap, I still got a push mow. So, all right, guys, check this out. Three different lawn care companies in the same little turnaround area. So there's three of them. This yard's done. They got a nice setup too. We got a walker and something else. This yard done. We gotta get my old BG50. We're gonna blow off this driveway. And uh, there's a yard in the back. And then we're gonna move on to the next one. Wide angle doesn't do it justice, but it's steep. And then from down there, the lake is another steep uh, piece of grass, and we spray Roundup down there and stuff. So, but it's looking real good. I've been trimming first today, and it's been working out pretty nice.
love the Harbor Freight. Um, I got the free flashlights. You get the coupons. I got a four inch drop hitch for my trailer because the front sits down too low or too high actually on the truck. So I gotta use that. All right, guys, time for oil change on the Chevy. Hope y'all are doing well. Hope y'all are getting ready for the week. And uh, also, gonna put that ball right here and do a four inch drop. So, hope y'all are doing well. See ya. All right, guys. Um, do y'all change your own oil in your truck? Um, See, I'm about to. I'm gonna run the good stuff, 5W30 protection over 75,000 miles, full synthetic. And as y'all know, this truck's way over 75,000 miles. But you see this right here? I have a friend that's a, uh, a very, very high skilled mechanic that was like engineer for Kumatsu, you know, different things. And uh, he told me to try to put some of this in the oil. Um, and you just run it in the oil all the time and um, it's just like real thick kind of stuff you just add a little bit and um, he said that it would help that ticking noise that the Chevy has um, so I'm gonna run some of that in there and see if it helps because um, I think it might you know that the lifter ticking thing he said you know put some of that so I'm gonna run a mixture of this mostly this and a little bit of this too so let me let me know what y'all guys do. Do y'all change your own oil in your trucks? I do just because I want to run the oil that I want to run the oil that I want to run, and I know that it's done right, and know how it's done how I want it, and plus save some money. And the, but the biggest part for me is that you know all the car shops are open during Monday through Friday, and uh, you know I gotta be mowing. So here on Sunday, change my own oil. You know good time to do it so that's what I'm up to so let's get this in here and uh, let's keep moving I just wanted to ask all about that and uh, I think if you run full synthetic it will help your trucks to run longer oh and I got this on sale at Walmart I think this was 22 bucks this wasn't on sale it was just normal because I think it takes a little bit more than five quarts but uh see I dropped it and I dent it but it didn't break but so anyway this was on sale this was not and I think this is probably somewhere in that seven eight dollar range so y'all are having a good day guys in case you're specifically wondering which lucas oil this was this is lucas oil a heavy duty oil stabilizer and um, this is i think the original there was like a new one that's like for uh there's like a new version but he told me to get this old version i'm trying to remember what makes it the new and there's like a different one that's like it says something different on the front and he was in the store with me and he said told me to get this one of the two so yep all right guys the vlog's gonna finish up right here and uh there's there's one more yard i'm gonna go to as well but um it's someone in her family it's the only little house i do in town and i had showed that y'all that before it's kind of like a little manufactured double wide looking house down in town Anyway, this last week, um, I got a text that her husband, uh, they didn't think he was going to live through the week. And could I do the yard a little earlier than normal? It's supposed to be done the end of this week. And so I told her, yeah, you know, it's the least I can do. We're going to bring her supper and do other things. Um, it's kind of someone in our extended family. but So I'm going to go down there and do that now here at the end of the day. Um, but I'm not going to film it, you know, for obvious reasons. But you guys out there, Faith, be praying for her. Her name is Carolyn. And, uh, you know, she had lost her husband, so it's a pretty big deal. Anyway, I get in a phone call. We'll see you guys later. We'll catch you in the next one. Y'all comment below and let me know how y'all are doing, all right? See ya.